So are you feeling overwhelmed or burned out from your job? You feel like a prisoner when you enter your office five days a week? Well, it's time to reset your career. So Jason Tardick, an entrepreneur, investor, and author of The Restart Roadmap, Rewire and Reset Your Career, wants to help you live the life you really want. So welcome to the show, Jason. Thank you so much for having me. It's oh, good to be here. And it's so great to have you in the studio. Yeah. Oh, finally, we're back. Right? We are back. You know, Jason, a lot of us know you from the Bachelor Nation. Yeah. Everyone knows about that. And the show Bachelorette. You ultimately, though, ended up finding love in that whole world of The Bachelor. <laughs> so can you tell us a little bit about that of and how course. things are going? Things are going great. So it actually wasn't from the show. It was after the show. Mm -hmm. And there was this discussion of maybe I could be the next Bachelor, yeah. and I wasn't. And now my fiance was out in Seattle interviewing for a podcast, and she interviewed me to say, what's next? The irony of it all is what was next was right in front of me. It was the first time we ever met. We have the audio from our first interactions. Three and a half years oh. later, we're engaged and live in Nashville, Tennessee. And we are talking about Caitlin, Caitlin Bristow. Bristow. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's really a, I mean, a love story come true for a lot of people who were your fans, too, that were really hoping this would happen. Any update on the wedding plans for you guys? Well, we're in full planning mode. Uh, and we are we have our planner we're looking at venues and we're almost a hundred percent sure it's gonna be in Nashville Tennessee oh very yeah. fun well let's get to the big reason why you're here today yeah. the release of your brand new book the restart roadmap what was called uh, the what would you say was the catalyst though of you writing this book yeah I think the big thing I noticed is I built this consulting company because I had this platform from the show and I learned that there's so many things that we aren't taught in the classroom that we need to know for our everyday life and through my time in Wall Street banking and behind unscripted television I got to see some of the best and brightest negotiate position brand and thought how can I take some of these lessons and bring them to the forefront of the things I didn't know back then and right now almost 49 million people voluntarily left their jobs in 2021 That's so the crazy. world hit restart and people's behaviors are hitting restart so a perfect time for a book that gives one a roadmap to do the same yeah I mean you were really on the rise in the in the financial industry but then what a lot of people probably don't know is you used to have panic attacks yeah so I was having like severe panic attacks I open up the book chapter one talking about the fact that I was in the middle of a meeting a big pitch had to excuse myself people are looking at me like I had three heads close the bathroom door hit the deck Mm -hmm. And instead of kind of addressing that and saying, like, what's going on here? What's my body saying to me? How do I address it? I found ways to camouflage it. And I was taking Xanax and beta blockers wow. and doing anything and everything to kind of camouflage because I didn't want to show weakness at work. Yeah, so what was the final straw then that made you realize, I'm not in the place I really need to be or want to be? Yeah, I think for me, I knew that there were so many uh, instances that I had to make a change eventually. It was when did I have the financial independence to do so? And that's just such an important piece of the puzzle, right? Budgeting, negotiating, making sure that you have like a rainy day fund so you have confidence and fear doesn't get in the way when you want to take that big shot, when you want to take a step out to write your own story. One of the things that you talk about in your book is something that you call the Sunday scaries. What is that and why is that a sign to change your life? For me, it was like this crippling anxiety on Sundays. The work day would start and I felt like I was only living the true me on like Saturday and Sunday, two mm. days out of the week. And so it was a wake up call to me to say, I am so paralyzed by work the next day that I need to start looking inside myself and say, am I really doing the right thing? This career confusion has got to such a point that I feel like when I close the office door, I'm locking myself in a career jail. Like life is too short for that. And there's too many skill sets I do have that I could align with something else. And so it was eye opening. So one of the, basically this, your book is about how to start a new blue blueprint for your life. Right. What are the first steps in doing that then? I think the biggest thing is you have to identify why you feel stuck. And through research and conversations and focus groups, there's five reasons I've found. It's usually mobility. It's there's a lack of skill set aligned with what you're doing on a day to day basis, a lack of passion, a lack of compensation, you're not being compensated appropriately, or you're just fearful of what's next. And so I think you have to identify which of those five it is, which is the priority. And then in the book, I talk about customized solutions for each of those. And when you realized this whole restart, weren't you already dating Caitlin? Yes. So I was dating Caitlin and I was in this ultimatum where my personal and professional world of social yeah. media 
collided and I was told either go restart your career outside the bank or you're only doing banking, no more side hustle. And I created a company called Restart to kind of help people unlock their story and I ended up doing my own thing. Yeah, did it make it more difficult though because you were balancing two different things? Oh, it was, I think the, the main decision was so challenging but another big takeaway from this is having a partner that will support your dreams and ambitions is so massive. And when I made that change, if I had a partner that didn't support it, it would have been so much more challenging. But to have her support, endorse, and like promote what I was doing, it's a blessing. Well, we're really happy for you yeah. in the book, but you know, I'm sure a lot of fans who are watching right now want to know if you know any dirt on the upcoming Bachelor stories. I mean, we got two Bachelorettes next season. The only time we saw that last time was when Caitlin was one of the yeah. Bachelorettes. So we'll have to see. If I had like any dirt that I would say from my vision is that if someone gets it's easy to make someone that's mean look really mean. It's easy mm. to make someone nice look really nice. It's hard to do the opposite. So when there are a lot of people out there complaining about their edit, I'll be one of the people that was there that would challenge them. <laughs> and you actually have an event tonight with another bachelor, right? Uh, Matt James? Matt James, yes. Yeah, so uh, Girl With No Job and Matt James will be at 92nd Street Y. We sold out. But you oh can, my gosh. Yeah, you can watch virtually. And I'm right now on an eight-city, eight-stop book tour. I was in Buffalo yesterday, New York today, and Boston tomorrow. But bottom line for the book, what do you want people to take away from it? If you have to make the slightest change in your career or the most material of where you live, why you live there, the industry you're in, this book will give you something to apply to that. And there are takeaways at every chapter that you can execute immediately. And you are clearly proof that it works. It works. Jason, thank you so much and good luck to you and your uh, future wedding plans. And you can pick up a copy of The Restart Roadmap, which is available right now.